Professor Lego's human here. Did you know there are 1300 volcanoes in the world? And my hand is a rock. This is no ordinary rock. This was once lava from the mount from the volcano Mount Etna in Sicily, Italy. I'm going to explain how volcanoes erupt. But first, let's make sure you know what a volcano is. A volcano is a mound with a pipe, also known as a vent, down the middle and a magma chamber below. This is under the Earth's surface. There are channels called sills and dikes and they may also lead from the magma chamber. Are you following me so far? Let's look at a diagram. When pressure builds up in the magma chamber, a mixture of magma and solid rock called lava pushes up the vent. And this causes the volcano to erupt. Bang! Consequently, if the lava is very thick, it may set inside the vent. And form a plug. By now, great pressure builds up. The lava gets hotter and hotter, collecting ash and rocks and finally explodes the plug, hurling chunks of rock called volcanic bombs high, in high into the air. The lava from the volcano can cool fast or sometimes the lava will slowly cool down from its intense heat. As a result, lava that cools slowly forms igneous rocks. Now for the experiment. I will need my goggles and my transparent gloves. Let's look at our ingredients. Three drops of washing up liquid. Four or more drops of red food colouring. One teaspoon of baking powder. 50 millilitres of malt vinegar. And of course the lovely tea. Two teaspoons. Let's begin with pouring 50 millilitres of warm water into the volcano. Now we put three drops of mashing up liquid into it. One, two, three. Let's stir it now. Okay, so we've got our vinegar. We just leave it there. We now have to pour the baking powder in. We have to be quick with this. Stir it around. Quickly, but... <gasps> That's... Now we put the vinegar in. And your volcano is done. Goodbye. Hope you enjoyed it.